Right, I'm in the new um, centre in Ballymena. It's like a hospital slash health centre. I don't have a clue what it is, but um, it seems brilliant. Oh, I've just been called. I'm getting my back, my wee humpy back and my neck injury x-rayed for a checkup because I hasn't been x-rayed for like um, 10 years coming up so it's like really hurting so I'll check in on you peace out people they well people that's my x-ray done on my spine my little two seconds well that was like so damn quick um only on Friday I got referred and now that that was like not even 10 minutes um, like that wasn't a sorry some woman got me mixed up with someone else and um, but this is the new Balamina um, health center and it was so so quick and cheerful which I don't get quite a lot in hospital because I'm in hospital quite a lot so um yeah, they said the x-rays will take two to three weeks to come in, so maybe in the next month you'll see this video, but um, I'll keep you updated on my neck and my spine x-rays and see how they go. So yeah, cheers to you, Monster Energy. Peace out, people. Hi, people. Well, this is the next clip. Um, I had to wait like three weeks um, to even talk to the doctor. So I'm going into the doctor now to see what they say about my x-rays with my neck and my back. So, sorry, I'm eating a log of egg in. But anyway, yes, I have taken my dreads out. What do y'all think? Do you like it? <laughs> anyway, um... Yes, I'm going to see if I can record myself. Obviously, I can't record the doctor, but um, I'm going to try to record what he or she says about my x-rays. So, hope you stay tuned and see what's going on with osteogenesis, imperfecta, bad back and neck. So, yes, I'll see you in the next clip. Hi again. Well, it's, I'm quite shocked. Well, like, it's not that I'm shocked. I just, I really, really wasn't expecting, expecting this. I got the, my doctor to print me out, print me out the sheet of, x-rays that I went and got done in my neck and in my C2 um, bone in my neck um, as you know I ha had broken my neck in 2010 and that was C2 and the x-rays show that I, I can actually show you this letter or not letter, it's the printouts, you know. I got my doctor to do the printouts, you know. So it says about my C2, there is post-traumatic <coughs> dis disformity of the C2. So I can't take any painkillers or anything like that because I'm a recovering addict and like she was offering me like painkillers um like stomach tablets just to keep the painkillers down not a chance i told her i do not want no tablets i i've been addicted to too many tablets in my life i don't i don't want any tablets so i'm getting injections I'm going to be getting injections in my neck to help with the pain. I'm just like shocked about it, you know. Um, it 
it's just like awful the way that I have to live with the pain because I'm a recovering addict. No, I've never touched skeg in my life. I've never touched shrooms. I've never took an LSD. I've never taken anything that can get you completely on another planet. Like my bones. I I knew I had to just stick to the ecstasy and cocaine and speed. And like now that I'm off it all, it's just I'm scared to take any type of tablets now and the spine x-ray like shocked me because I know I have the question mark spine <clears throat> the question mark spine but now I also have scoliosis the s-shaped spine like I knew my spine was bad but I didn't realize that it, I didn't realize that I would have any anything to do with like scoliosis and my spine. So yeah, I'm I'm like in shock of it. I'm just I just wish some somebody could take my pain away, but I wouldn't wish my pain on my worst enemy. So I am stuck with it and I can't even take any painkillers. I took two um, Cocodoma the other night and it made me sick as fuck. I was like the exorcism, uh, like the exorcism sick, you know, just bulking and bulking and bulking and that was only on two. So I can't take any painkillers so I have to go with pain management. And now I have to get jabs in my neck, so <sighs> it's shite. And with my deaf ear, <laughs> like happy days, this is the only one part of good news. Tomorrow at 10 to 11, I will be able to hear, well by 11, 11 a.m. tomorrow, I will be able to hear properly because I'm getting my ears hoovered out. <laughs> I'm getting my ears hoovered out, so that's going to suck all the see it, maybe spikes. I think I've got like one or two spikes down there too, so um, yeah, I've not been going out or anything because I, I've, not, I've not been able to hear anybody like to have a good conversation with so um yeah tomorrow i'll be here and that's the only good news this week or this whole couple of months um like that's the only good news is about my years i'll be here tomorrow <laughs> um and my voice will be so much different because <laughs> uh it's just gonna be so much different but yeah, um, I'm going to go and if you're living with osteogenesis imperfecta, just really, really, really look after yourself. Keep off the drugs. Maybe like, see I, I only took the drugs whenever I was like 14 to block out that I was different. And... It did that, it did that for so many years, up until I was like 25 or something, and then that was the year, like, I was kind of, this ain't for me anymore, I'm done, I'm done, like, so, it, I'm now 29, and I'm off the cocaine, and speed, and just any sniff that would go up your fucking nose. I'm off it. I'm 13 months now. And obviously I still smoke weed. But it would help if we could get weed. <laughs> it would help if we could get weed. But anyway. um, I want to say just. Do what 
you need to do but just take care of yourself like I ha I didn't take care of myself for like a good 11 12 years 14 years I think um with the drug situation so that's why my bones are pretty messed up at the minute too you know because still having the cold turkey effects as you see him sweating and it's it's like it's it's nice and warm like it's it's 24 and a half degrees in here <laughs> but you know going cold turkey it takes why it takes time you know to get it all out of your system especially when you've been taking it over 10 years so yeah oh, my neck is so stiff Oh, fuck. But anyway, yes, peace out and love your body and love yourself.